Peter Tork of the Monkees has died. He was 77. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. He was the oldest member of the band. He was 24 in 1966 when that phenomenon started. Though compared and meant to be in the same lane as the Beatles, the Monkees certainly were a different animal. But that's not to say they didn't leave a huge mark on the history of rock and roll. They set up the Monkees with Torque on bass alongside singer-songwriter Michael Nesmith playing guitar, drummer Mickey Dolenz, and Davy Jones on lead vocals. The latter two were presented more as a lead vocalist, even though they all sang. He was born Peter Halston Thorkelson, February 13, 1942, in Washington, D.C. Both of his parents were huge fans of folk music, so he was really influenced by them an awful lot. In fact, when he was just a little boy, they bought him a banjo and a guitar. He could also play the piano. So Tork was a musician long before the Monkees, who, as we all know for a long time, were not known as musicians. Before his fame, Tork played in coffee shops in New York City, and that's when he shortened his name from Thorkelson to Tork. As mentioned in the beginning, they sang lead vocals on their songs, but they weren't really invited in the studio, though some of them weren't ready at the time. Tork certainly was. Well, the Wrecking Crew and other studio musicians played a lot on those first albums. And no matter how you cut it in the beginning, they were the best men for the job. On their debut album, simply titled The Monkees from October 1966, the group as a whole never played together with the exception of two tracks written and or co-written by Michael Nesmith, where Tork also played guitar. He told CBS News that producer Don Kirshner discouraged the band from even being in the studio. In spite of that, or maybe because of it, the Monkees soared. Their likability on TV was huge. Now, the show only lasted two seasons, from 1966 to 1968, but there was a real hunger at the time for Beatle-like hijinks, inspired by the Fab Four's A Hard Day's Night and Help. On the show, Torque was the silly one, a self-professed dummy who sometimes had that weird look on his face when he didn't understand what was happening in the room. He once told the New York Times the emotional age of the Monkees was 13. The Monkees had over 10 top 40 hits, including I'm Not Your Stepping Stone and A Little Bit Me, A Little Bit You from 1966, Pleasant Valley Sunday the following year, and their number one hits, two from 1966, Last Train to Clarksville, and Neil Diamond's I'm a Believer, plus Daydream Believer in 1967. In 2016, while touring with the Monkees, Tork told The Telegraph, This is not a band. It's an entertainment operation whose function is Monkees music. It took me a while to get to grips with that. But what great music it turned out to be. And what a wild and wonderful trip it has taken us on. He was urged to audition for the Monkees via his friend Stephen Stills, where the future Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young guitarist kind of failed his audition. That's when he told Tork, You gotta try this. Tork was involved in a lot of different Monkees reunions. When Davy Jones died in 2012, Nesmith, who was always hesitant to rejoin the band, got back into the fold for their 50th anniversary tour. The passing of Tork was initially announced on the band's Facebook page. He had a rare form of cancer diagnosed in 2009, which affected his tongue. May he rest in peace. He gave us a lot. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you comment on our videos, share them, and subscribe to our channel. This is Rock History Music.